Hello everybody, I want to share a story, a recent situation of a very moment while preaching a message. I don't, I'll, I will, I'll put the date in this video when we upload it. A message that I preached uh, over a year ago. While preaching this message, there was thus say of the Lord spoken against a man named Danny Steeman, the pastor from, from Florida. Recently, supernaturally, the way the Lord just worked this whole thing out, a situation took place. Somebody who knows me, somebody who hasn't maybe listened to all the messages, obviously in my, in my ministry, because there's been many, but is aware of my ministry, who recently felt led of the Lord to drive to Michigan to a meeting at a pastor, a man named Paul LaFontaine, who's another message of the hour pastor. After this meeting, there was a phone call from this individual, and I'm gonna share that story in a moment. Before I do, I wanna I want to take the clip from that message, I'm gonna splice it in now, and then I wanna share with you the vindication of what God spoke to his prophet in this hour. All right, here it is. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? You eat the fat, and you clothe you with the wool. You kill them, them that are fed, but you feed not the flock. I'm going to break this down here. The original Hebrew, where it says here, that do feed themselves, should not the shepherds feed. That whole, that whole flowing of, of words, it's got a one original Hebrew, 7462. That they do feed themselves. Oh, they feed themselves, uh-huh. Feed themselves, yeah. Yeah, listen to this. To associate with as a friend, break companion, keep company with. But you'll sit around, you pastors, Tim Poo at your church, and your little, your little posse of men behind you, and you'll conjure up your conversations and your studies. You'll feed yourselves, your flesh, your pride, amen, to vindicate yourselves, amen. But only one thing vindicates you, this word, amen. Praise God. And God only will send supernatural signs upon his word to vindicate his word. Hallelujah, amen. Praise God. A true messenger doesn't need the, the vindication of other men to build him up. He's got one vindication, Jesus Christ the word, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God, you cowardly men. You feed yourselves among yourselves. You, you, you're preaching to each other. That's what you're doing. You're preaching, Brother Tim. You're preaching, Brother Salmon. And all the rest of you. Waiting to hear somebody behind you say, Oh, amen, brother, preach it. Yeah, that's what you're doing. It's a mockery in the face of God, amen. You're feeding yourself instead of catching the mind of God. And feeding the flock of God. But get the people, they sit around, they amen. Oh, amen, brother. Oh, brother Tim. Oh, you got your little yes men. And those men take that spirit home to their own families. It becomes a baseball game, just like the dream I had. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. I'm at a baseball game. Go clap away. And up next up the bat, here comes Barry Bonds. It's a home run. Those people do this, folks. It's the same spirit. You're feeding a bunch yourselves. Amen. You're, you're, you're too concerned about the praise of men and the appraisal of the flesh, amen. And so the appraisal of Jesus Christ, the Lord, but this ministry is waiting upon only that, amen. That's what makes me different, and I stand upon that word. Hallelujah, praise God, amen. Sin of God to judge it, amen. You know what this is all about, you know? It's the people. It's like I hear, the, I hear the cry of the people's hearts, amen. Hallelujah. The bondage of the ministry and the failure of the ministry. You got one extreme of these dead churches preaching false gospel and false preaching all around it, amen. Where they're not even producing salvation. 
The people come to this message and they're so thankful that they begin to see, oh, God sent a prophet. They begin to understand. And then there comes those false pastors, amen, who, who, who drag them away and push them away from the fold of God, amen. And they're scattered abroad, amen, under such oppression, amen. Satan, the trail of the serpent, amen. That is thus saith the Lord. Danny statement, you're coming against the voice of God. You're under judgment, brother. Your ministry from this forth is under judgment. The very thing that you try to preach is done, you got it. You'll be identified with that going forward, amen. Hallelujah. This morning, battling that same depression that the young girls put on our channel. Girl probably in her 20s. I'm like, ah, I'm like, I get you. I know what that spirit's like. It comes right at the hands of those who claim to be the leaders of the message, who can't even recognize what this ministry is saying here to do. The first message to Tim Pruitt, I've never once tried to call him a false preacher. It was God gave me a dream to give you a word or something, and God gave me a message to, to, to that brother to repent. And nothing. Continue with that same posse of men behind him. Continue on that same spirit. Having his amplified Bible pop up on his little at the beginning on his little screen. When that prophet of God preached out of a King James Bible, and so does this man of God. And then you're going to bring in your little posse boy down there from Florida to title your sermon to mock after the one I brought. You don't have to say my name. I know exactly what direction you guys are going with that message. judgment it's the things like this is what has done the damage to the people in this message and why people have walked away time and time again okay during this time, and I want to, I want to, want you to understand something. During this very time and moment, when the Lord had been dealing with me about the, the calling and the ministry that He has given me, as in the days of Moses, when when Moses had his back against the wall and Pharaoh was coming after them, God had done so many things and, and given Moses His commission. But yet Moses was crying out to God, basically, what shall we do? And God commands him in the scripture, why cry, Moses, speak? During this time and season over a year ago, the Lord began to deal with me. You are my prophet. You speak, thus saith the Lord. I will, I will honor what you, say, what you speak. I've, I've already put the vindication upon your life. I've been putting supernatural all around you, Paul. Quit looking for always for me to always tell you every little detail to do because that's my nature that's my makeup I want him to double vindicate constantly you got make you know I want to make sure but there are moments sometimes in this battle especially in this ministry he's given me he's teaching me as he has put the authority in my life to in this ministry to do the work of the Lord in this hour so as you listen to in that clip during that moment in time, there was another situation of somebody else who was coming against this ministry. And I sent a group text to these, to these individuals, and that's the first time I, I, I exercised that authority that God was showing me. You speak thus, saith the Lord. And then a judgment fell on a person's life in that situation, and they almost passed away. God brought them through that situation. Now, as you saw in, that, in this message that the Lord had given me, and it's on my channel, the, pro, the, 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 the dream that God gave me, exposing the spirit on Tim Pruitt's ministry and his church and those group of pastors, and they're all connected together. They're under that same spirit. And God has me call it out, the spirit of, that's upon that church. But a rejection of the word from the Lord, as, as later on, the, the next dream God gave me, that now a judgment is going to strike. We've already covered that, those who follow this ministry. So this man, Danny Steeman, begins to take and mock, mocking impersonators, just as Janice and Jambres withstood Moses in the days of Moses. The same thing which is taking place right here at the very moment in time 
the very the very the very season and the hour of the judgments upon the land and the coming of the Lord is, is knocking upon the door and any of those who are awake and have the Holy Ghost can recognize the hour and the time where we are at and God has raised up a voice one man's ministry to finish the work of the Lord in this hour time is short God's not playing games God will bankrupt, bankrupt heaven before he allows, allows not his word to be fulfilled. God will write his book of Acts, but he must send the judgments upon these things to get things where he wants it to be. Amen? And God raises up, always has one man doing the job, coming right at the church in this hour. So as you saw there, under that anointing, preaching that message, the man basically taking a sermon, titling it, mocking my sermon. Talking about, oh yeah, they have, he has dreams and Satan's minister and the devil has dreams. Putting me in the category as a minister of Satan. So under the, under the spirit of the Lord and under the anointing of God, I speak, thus saith the Lord, the very thing that you have said against me, Danny Steeman, it's now yours. It's upon your ministry now, and you'll never see it. And all the people following you that are elect of God are going to continue to feed on your ministry. And Paul the Fontaine and all the other pastors, you all just keep amening each other and supporting Brother Alex, the other guy that goes that, that preaches here in, in, in Ohio, one of, a church I used to be a youth pastor at one time at. So let me tell you the story now. And I am recording. So when I'm preaching that message a year ago, under that anointing, the very thing you said now is yours. Thus saith the Lord. How would I, how would I have any way to know how this thing could play out? So an individual, somebody who knows me, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, just feels like I'm going to drive to Michigan, three or four hour drive to go be a part of a meeting, to get some fellowship. They're hungry for the word. They leave, they leave the meeting. The first person they call is me. My phone rings. Paul, listen, some of the things that you preach, the things that you've been preaching, God's been preaching through your ministry, I just saw it. It's happening. The spirit, I was in a service at a church, some you know, great meeting, it was pretty much a full house, a few seats available. And there's this, there, there's that very spirit that God has had you crying out against and exposing within the church. And he said, I, there was like, I, me personally, on the way there, he said, I had an amazing experience in my car with the Lord. The spirit of God come down in my car. He said, but well, when I got to the church, there, were, there was no spirit of God. I couldn't feel God's presence. I couldn't feel God's anointing. I could see everything was, that was wrong was off. I could see it. I said, oh my goodness. So I get quiet. I just, I just let, the, let the person just, they just I keep going. Come on, I, I, this ministry is hard what I have. And, and God knows that there are moments of times that I, I need to see the vindication of what God is having me speak in this hour, amen. So I began to ask him, I said, well, where, where did you go? Oh, the Paul LaFontaine had this, this, this special meeting, blah, 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 and I wanted to go to it. I said, okay, did, who, who's, you know, ask him who preached. I don't know. Some guy from, I think, from Florida came down to preach. I thought, oh, Lord. I said, what's his name? He said, I don't, I, I don't know. I said, Danny, does that ring a bell? Yeah, guy named Danny. I said, Danny Steeman. He said, yes. I said, do you realize that's the very ministry that God had me call out? The very message about urgent three pastors who have brought judgment upon their own states. The very man who come against this ministry, God's prophet in this hour, who said, thus saith the Lord, the very thing that you put upon this man's ministry, it's yours. God sends vindication. So keep preaching. The same with Ronald Watson, Danny Steeman. You guys will keep preaching. Danny Steeman, you, you have fallen under the very thing you've spoken against this ministry. 
You, are, you will continue to put out false truth. You will continue to be, a, be used as Satan's minister in this hour, amen? And people will continue to follow you because you'll quote quotes. Because the preachers, he said, he saw, it's, like, it's like watching Tim Prude's church again. Because y'all behind you, behind each other, will keep patting each other on the back. Seeking the approval and the appraisal of men, of one another. Falsely thinking that that means that God is with you and God has took his hands off your ministry, Danny Steeman. You're done. Your ministry is done. Thus saith the Lord. And anybody who follows that ministry, who's connected to that spirit, all of you pastors, amen, in this hour, amen, you'll be falling under judgment with that man's ministry, amen, that is thus saith the Lord in this hour because you're coming against the Holy Ghost. You're coming against Jesus Christ, the Word of God in this hour, amen. And the ministry God has raised up to do this work for the Lord, amen. With a double portion for this hour to, to finish the work of God. God sends vindication. The chief corner, the one that one that the builders rejected. The scripture says, he said, I'll make it the chief cornerstone. The person going to the meeting has the Holy Ghost in his car. Because what is this message I've been preaching all along? What is the third pole? It's the one-on-one. -on -one. You, little bride, in Jesus Christ, the Word. God revealing himself to you one-on-one -on -one in the secret place of the heart of the soul. But the false, the false, I have preached and told you this before. The foolish virgin is found within this message. And the people will keep following these false shepherds and these false pastors right into the tribulation while they're clicking play on the tapes and not hear what God is saying in this hour, amen? God raised up this ministry to do this work. And the very one you say you follow has spoken of it many times over and over again. Joshua, the Joshua of the hour. The Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ, the Word, amen. Hallelujah, praise be to God. God will continue to vindicate the voice of His prophet in this hour, amen. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm, saith the Lord. As saith his word. Amen. Why cry? Speak. Speak the word, he says, Moses. I want to read two scriptures. Exodus chapter 7 and verse 13. And he hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he hearkened not unto them as the Lord had said. In Romans 9, verse 17. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. All of it. So what is taking place in this hour? It's the hardening of the hearts of the leaders of the church. The leaders of men. Of all. Not just this message. All of them. Amen. That God may show his glory and his power in this hour, amen. Through one man's ministry speaking, thus saith the Lord, as his prophet in this hour, amen. Crying out against it for the name of the Lord, amen. God will continue to drop his judgments upon this earth and upon this land in this hour to judge this, these things, amen. That he may get a bride where he wants her to be. That he can write a book of Acts again. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is saved yesterday, today, and forever. He changes not, amen. 
He's got to get everything lined up where he wants it, amen. So Joseph Branham, all of them, all these churches, I've been calling it out, the churches in my town, the churches across the land, other, it doesn't matter, all directions, the hardening of the hearts for the showdown. God with his little bride, his elect, who it's at some point soon, God's lining everything up. He, she will be raptured and she will escape as Pharaoh's coming after her, amen, and her back's against the wall, amen, surrounded by all the false doctrines and the false teachings and the false leaders of men, amen. Jesus Christ will show up because she loves him. She looks into him. The author and the finisher of her faith. She trusts as no man. Only his word. Jesus Christ is the word. In the beginning was it the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. God, Emmanuel. Not no trinity. Not no three persons. Amen. Hallelujah. I am the Lord God of his. I am the Lord thy God. He says, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And he's about to turn back to the east. To the two prophets of Israel. Under the spirit of Moses and Elijah. Amen. But you He has to finish the work in his Gentile bride. Lion roars. When, when, thunder roar, when thunder makes a noise, it's loud. It shakes the earth. God is thundering in this hour. Amen. As Revelation 10.3 says, he's thundering in this hour. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Speak to your people, O God. Be with your bride in this hour. Call her out of it, Lord. To Jesus, unto thee, O God. Hallelujah. The Lord has spoken.